how I dealt with a one-sided friendship. I won't lie. It feels unbelievably shit to have people messaging you whenever you need help and after you help them, they just dip and ignore you till the next time they need help again. My friend recently asked me to buy her a special blender slash food processor for their birthday, it was 150 AUD, because her old one broke, we're both uni students, but she lives on a way tighter budget than me because she doesn't receive help from her parents. Of course, they go all friendly, hyped me up and whatever beforehand, as if we're besties. After two months of radio silence, and as if nothing happened. My friend recently asked me to buy her a special blender slash food processor for their birthday, it was 150 AUD, because her old one broke, we're both uni students, but she lives on a way tighter budget than me because she doesn't receive help from her parents. Of course, they go all friendly, hyped me up and whatever beforehand, as if we're besties. After two months of radio silence, and as if nothing happened. As I get on the bus, I start reflecting. I'm scrolling through our message history together, massive blender around my arms, and I'm looking at the massive differences in the amount I typed to her, versus how much effort she would put into her texts, and contrasting that with the change in the amount she would type to me in the last few days. And I'd always be the one to initiate the conversation unless she needed something, it was as if she was just tolerating me. I quickly send her a message, will we hang out again after your birthday, her last message was two minutes ago, to test and see if she actually cared about me as a person rather than some gullible ATM machine and as I'm waiting, I get off the bus and walk home. When I placed the blender up onto my kitchen counter, I realized that the color of the blender actually fits my kitchen quite well. And I began contemplating purchasing another one for myself. I check my messages again and see that I've been invited to the birthday group chat, friend is still online, yet hasn't responded to me as if she just throws her phone across the Pacific Ocean after each message I send her. I began to realize the pattern in which she messaged me and that this friendship was taking an incredibly large toll on my mental. Why should I always be worried about whether or not I get a response as if I'm not good enough? I decide to leave the birthday group chat which was somehow noticed by my friend immediately since she messaged me asking why I did that, but not my previous message, xd, and I decided I no longer wanted to be friends with her. I began to realize the pattern in which she messaged me and that this friendship was taking an incredibly large toll on my mental. Why should I always be worried about whether or not I get a response as if I'm not good enough? I decide to leave the birthday group chat which was somehow noticed by my friend immediately since she messaged me asking why I did that, but not my previous message, xd, and I decided I no longer wanted to be friends with her. Thank you for watching my videos and I hope you like and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Also, if you don't want to miss any video, lime the notification button so you won't miss another video.